Okay, hello there. This is a uh, part two of coin change two. This is uh, the first method, the top-down method of doing the coin change problem. And we're going to go through the bottom-up method now. Um, so the bottom-up method is going to be uh, building up to our answer. Um, and we have a 0, 1, through 3, 4, 5, our amounts, and our coins. Um, so what happens is that we have the 1, 2, 5 coin. And the zero of coin will take a one item. So we're gonna do this in reverse, uh, or we can do this uh, in the, the num no. It doesn't matter which way we do it. Actually, we just need to find out. Like I, I think I'm not sure. Let me check that. But we're gonna just go over the most usual method. Then we're gonna start testing some like code and seeing what's going on and having fun with this. So uh, let's say we have the five item. And that takes a zero, 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 like no items at all. So that's our first line. And uh, we basically, what's happening is that we're gonna pull from our previous row uh, the item. And if we uh, find that the amount minus the coin is going to be at a particular location with a value, we're going to tack that on top. So what that means is that uh, by, by tack that on top, that means that we're going to add a new way of getting to, uh, I mean, we're going to set, oh, we can get that number of ways of getting there. So um, so we set 0, 0, 0. There's no way to get um, a, a 4 with a 5 coin. It's just impossible. Um, a 4 amount. And a 5 amount, you can get with a 5 coin. So we set it to 1. Why? Because we set, we took, we, we found out that at zero, we can get a one coin. Uh, there's one way to get a five, and uh, there's one way to get a, get get that amount, zero, and we set that there. So same thing, we move all the items uh, from bottom to top. So how many ways does it get uh, one? Zero, there's no way. Um, if about two, well, there's one way. So we look to the bottom, there's zero, and uh, we, we add, one to that. Look at the bottom, zero. Look at the bottom, well, it's a four. And how many ways is there to get a two? One way, so that's one. And, and now, uh, with uh, a five coin, there's zero ways to get a five coin, but with a five coin from below, we get a one. So now uh, we have a one, and uh, we have a one, is there one way to get one? Well, one minus one is equal to one, so we take that one. And here, we take the bottom, there's uh, one way to get a two. And there's another way to get a two from the one spot. So that equals to two. Um, how many ways do you get to three? Well, there are two ways. Pulling from the uh, before, three ways. I mean, two ways uh, to get three. And then we pull uh, two and three, two and one. We get three ways to get four. Um, because there's, there was one way here and two ways here. And now we pull uh, three and one, which is going to be four. And that's our exact answer from earlier. So uh, let's code this up. And um, let's learn some more. So let's set the row equals to zero times the amount plus one because we are using this as our base row. We're going to set the zero of item to equal to one. And now we're going to do our i in range um, length of coins. One thing to note is that uh, do we have to start with the biggest denomination first, or can we start with smaller denominations? I haven't tested that out yet, but let's get this code working first before we get try new things um, and uh, start messing around with the code a little bit more. So here we um, build up a new row, and we set the new row equals um, 0 equals 1. Better yet, why don't we just set the previous row to the current row? Uh, row dot copy, and then for a in the range, um, i to amount plus one. Um, if amount minus coin, as we said earlier, i is greater than or equal to zero. Then we set um, 
the new row of A is going to be equal to plus equals the new row of amount minus coins of I. Um, and then we're going to set row equals new row. That, uh, let's return the row amount. Coins, right? Perfect. Let's submit. So let's see if that is the case. So let's print the row each time, and um, let's see if it, my my um, my picture completely matches the current picture. As you can see, it does. Um, we're building all the way till to the one coin. What happens when you use the one coin first and then use the bigger denominations is that, uh, let's see, if we if we did that, we would build this up and there would be one way and then two ways and three ways. Let's just see what happens. I don't know. Run. So it works all the same. Yeah, it works all the same. For real. But it's a slightly slower because we're populating with all numbers uh, rather than um, zeros. So that's that's almost something we learned uh, with that. So to speed up our code, that's why we pull uh, from our previous row. Uh, right, and I guess if you want this to be even faster, rather than pulling our from our previous row, we can set this as our, um, yeah, but doesn't matter. Anyways. Um, so what did we learn here? Uh, we learned that um, we can do a bottom-up approach, uh, whether or not we, it doesn't matter what way we do the coins, is as long as we select one coin and then we build on top of what happens if we select two coins and then we select all three coins and um, starting at the zero amount and building up um, the number of ways we can get there. Um, so the number of ways is built up uh, via the ways we can get the coins uh, from the 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 bottom the the, the previous rows, um, and the number of ways we can get the coin from our current row um, to to get to that particular amount. Um, I how would you I think a good question to ask is how would you get this in a coding interview this particular type of question and uh, going from the DFS method, um, building a top-down method, um, asking these questions, and then going for a um, bottom-up method is that, yeah, that's how you would, you would do it. Um, looking at the, the amount and the coin usage, as you can see here. Just selecting all of these, and then adding this on top for each row. Um, yeah, it's, I, I, I'm not sure how easy this is. This is going to be pretty difficult. I'm going to try to solve it next time um, without any help and see how far I can get. Um, and we'll see how, how much I learned, or how much I didn't learn. Well, thank you very much uh, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something today. What uh, what that is is that um, the the building up of the coin change problem from our um, top down method. Hopefully, the explanation is, is somewhat helpful. And if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. If you want more videos? Check the link in the description below. Thank you very much, and have a good one.